Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a hand crank generator with the microwave oven motor like this. Is a, this is a 5 watts, 220, 240 volts. So for this project we're going to need the motor salvage from a microwave uh, oven. This is the motor that spins the plate and you are hitting the thing. We're going to adjust this to a very easy plug. We're gonna just like this, you know, we're gonna put the cables to this connection. This is just for convenience purpose. We did manage to attach the wire to the motor, just like this, twisting. This is a very rough setup, so when you, if you're gonna make it permanent, you're gonna need soldering and other things. All right, so we did put this thing. This is for convenience purpose only. And now, <clears throat> we're gonna make something to rotate the crank, you know, some kind of handle. For this project we're gonna use a small already drilling cutter. We're gonna strip it like this. Ah, I got the thing here. We're gonna remove this part. We're gonna take off the blade from it. And we're gonna end with something like this. <clears throat> here, like in this, here in this part, we're gonna drill a hole and we're gonna attach his own thing. You know, his, uh, this is the plastic, is a very dirt one, it's a very hard one for turning the plate. So we're gonna screw a hole here and attach a bulb with a nut here. And in this part, look, we already have a, a drilled hole we're gonna adjust like this and we're gonna insert a butterfly nut for it's gonna be easy to so it was done we're gonna screw it here not too hard to break up to break the metal thing and the plastic and there you have it your crank fits like a charm and now this is it. Let's gonna test it and to see what kind of things we can power with this one. We're gonna take a piece of uh, three multiplier or what the fuck is called this one. We're gonna see this is not connected, and we're gonna insert the thing just like this. Look, it's no connection here. Yeah? Remove these wires. No connection or nothing. Just put in here, and we're gonna attach something. This is like a, this is like a bulb, salvage, we're gonna adjust it, and we're gonna see it, now maybe it's turned off, we're gonna turn it on, and look, we do have light, yeah, there you go, there you go, how about it? Now we're gonna try a different thing. We have here a USB main adapter and we've connected a 5 volts LED and we're gonna see. Look, it's lighting. Very nice. Yeah, so also this. We have now connected a phone to it to see if we're gonna charge our phone. Come on, let me find a position. Yep, it's charging. It stopped. Now we're gonna see. Let's. Turn it back on. Come on, that's it. Again. Oh, it's charging. All right, so there you have it. You can charge your phone very easy with a hand crank generator like this. We just put it in here, you know, for uh, attach multiple things, you know, to test it and uh, to see what it, what actually is the power. And for the final thing, we're gonna test to see if. Uh, He's gonna be able to charge our 18 volts battery pack for the cordless drill. So we're gonna adjust here. This is the the charger for the cordless drill. I don't know if you can see it, but the LED is lit. See? The LED is lighting. See? And now it's now it's off and be very careful. Oh, is on. Okay. 
So we're gonna connect the battery just like this and we're gonna pay attention to this red LED and green to see if the charge is going in. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You see? That's it. So there you have it folks. A very useful hand crank generator. Free. Free electricity. You know, it doesn't have any big power but it sure is useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.